Hello everyone, Esco here. So I haven't been on YouTube for a while. This video I want to talk about the economy of China from my own experience. Uh, right now I'm in the countryside, as you can see. The coins are about to be harvested. This is a, a small route. So I parked my car here and I want to make a video. I want to talk about the economy of China from my own experience. So, um, earlier my job was to sell wood products. It's not my full-time job, it's my part-time job. Last year, I left my previous company. After a while, an ex-colleague asked me to join his company, the company he founded with another boss. So he wanted me to help. At first, he wanted me to do it full-time. But I declined to do it full-time. I said I can do it part-time because I know it, it is difficult to, to do business now. Especially for a new company, you start from the scratch, right? You start from zero. So you know, they agreed I do it part-time. I go there half, half uh, in the afternoon, do it uh, for half a day. And after that, I do the DD, which is Uber. And sometimes I have other gigs, like teaching just teaching people English. I charge them for like 20 yuan uh, an hour. Sometimes I have some translation assignments, translation jobs, you know. So I did that job. I did that part-time job for about uh, uh, eight months. Eventually it didn't work out. Main reason is that the business, there isn't a lot of orders. So we sell wood crop, prod, uh, wood crafts. We had a, we have a Alibaba presence, Alibaba store. Every day we upload the products. Uh, you know, it's just like a doing business, domestic business where you ch chat with the foreigners. They, for example, if they want to have uh, 500 pieces of wood boxes, we give them the quotation. After they pay, pay we start the production. It's, it's, uh, it's not uh, as difficult as you thought. But the bin is not, there isn't a lot of orders. Like most factories now, they don't have enough sufficient uh, orders. And uh, the I input is a lot. Every day, you know, the advertisement cost, the Alibaba cost, and the, the machine cost, people. At the first, it's only two people doing the, mainly doing the, in charge of the Alibaba. Now he hired two more. So the cost is too high. And gradually, I found that the boss is, isn't paying us. It's, I don't know others, but the, he isn't paying me on time. At first, it's maybe seven days late, then maybe 10 days late. And another thing is that also I'm, I have a problem with, uh, you know, the management, the operation is that of the company, the cost is too high. Like for example, it costs maybe like one thousand yuan to get a customer. Every day, we spend like more two hundred yuan on advertisement, and also the investment on on Alibaba. So I think that it it it's, it, it doesn't last. That is why they they are paying me late. Also, they have a problem with me. Sometimes I I went to the office late. But that's not the biggest problem because, you know, in our line of business, even after we got off work, we have to sometimes respond to customer client messages on Alibaba. It's not like a KFC job 
when you got off the work, you don't have to, you don't basically don't have to do with anything. You don't have you you disconnect from the company. But no, in in our business, sometimes the the customers send us messages in the midnight, and if I'm not sleeping, I'm I I need to reply it. So maybe it says like eight hours, four four hours. Five hours, half a day, but actually it's longer than that, right? Sometimes you need to uh, read, see the drawings, see the pictures, calculate the cost for the client, stuff like that. So the last time, like August, uh, after they pay me late, they they didn't pay me like after ten, ten days of the payday. So I kind of said I said to my ex colleague who you know asked me to join the company. I said, um, I said, uh, you know, there isn't a lot of orders, and uh, I I need to make money. I, I need to uh, take a rest. Uh, so I I need to leave for a few days. Um, And I told him that uh, I need to do the DD. Uh, he he agreed. He agreed. And uh, then it's not uh, like a, a week. Uh, they didn't. They still didn't pay me. Then after several days, they pay me the salary of last month. And uh, and then you know they told me like. Um, You know, because at that time I already left the company for like a week, and then I think that maybe it's not a uh, we are not a, I'm not working for the company the way that I want, and also the company felt that oh I left the company for so so many days, and also the company is not paying me on time, so they let me go, and I kind of accept it because I know like. If it goes on, the issue will be bigger. Now it's like ten, fifteen days late. Next time maybe maybe a mess, and、uh, I don't see there is a、uh, an uptick on orders or in inquiries. After、I、left that company,、uh, after like about one week or two, I I went to another company. I don't I don't seek a full time. Because nowadays, the, even the full time, they don't give you a lot. Mostly, it's like a five thousand to five.、Uh, sorry, mostly it's like a two thousand and five hundred yuan base salary, and for the base salary, you had to work six days a week, and the commission is very little. You get like a one percent. Or one point five percent of the exports vo- volume, the tra- transactions of your, you know, of the、uh, pro of the products we you produce for the company. So I'm now seeking full time work. So that company. You know, a they doing the same, sell selling the similar products, selling doing the having the same business model like, like doing on、uh, on Alibaba, like they have also Alibaba store. It's very it's it's the same. At first they don't they don't want me to do it part time. They want me to do full time. I told the boss, no, I'm not doing it full time. I I have to DD job, and it's paying me lo- a lot of more pay me more. Than the exports work, so he agreed. But、uh, after a few days, it didn't work. For half a day, they、uh, they promised to give me, uh, sixty yuan, which is nine dollars. Ten dollars, half day, for, uh, four hours. Right, 
but if you ex if you calculate the the gas money, it's like uh, it's less than that. And also, the the full time there is like is le less. I told you, I, I'm telling you that nowadays many people are earning less than 10 years ago. 10 years, 15 years ago, even when I was at the college, I made money doing translation. I made more money, easier money than now. But now it's totally different because of the economy is bad. So that company is quite strict. They ask me to. They ask you to reply to the clients within one hour. How how is that possible? Sometimes the clients ask you something in the midnight, and when you woke up, it's already seven, five hours late, right? And also, I I stayed there for several days, like four days. I noticed that many people, you know. When they sit there, it's like they sit there for two hours straight. They may see me like taking a break for half a, half an hour. The boss may be kind of uh, not happy with that, you know. And also the 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 the, the vibe is not, there is not good. They have the camera there, the boss, the boss brother, and it is four five. Uh, employees working in the same office most of the time, so you just doing their their uploading products. It's not healthy if you stay there, sit sit on a chair for two hours straight, and the pay is low. Also, they are very strict on on time. You have to be there on time. I told them like I don't work on on morning. I do it half time, uh, half time, part time. I do it I've no, but uh, on Monday, he said, "Oh, there is a meeting every day, every week. We have meetings on Monday. You have to come here on Monday. So I have to, you know, get up early on Monday. Just you know, and also that is they don't have a factory. It's just an office." Even though they have a, uh, the volume is is good on Alibaba, but actually it's not a factory, so you don't learn a lot from there working there. So after several days, I, I said, also the boss felt that it's not uh, doing good for everyone, so we I just left. Now what I'm doing is that. Uh, um, I made my mo most of the money from driving, like DD, Uber driving. Even though it's not a lot, maybe less than two dollars uh, an hour after the gas, after you deduct the gas cost. But uh, it is more than if you like work in the office job. The situation now is that a lot of young people. College graduates, they don't, they can't find a job, so they go to the office, and they get paid very less, like two thousand five hundred yuan, two thousand two hundred yuan for that company, a uh, full month salary. It's like three hundred dollars, and I I saw the. Saw the, um, communication because before because, when I got to that company. It gave me the WeChat account and uh, you know business account from the previous uh, employee who also who left the company. I saw the talk before, before like three months ago, four months ago the base salary is two thousand five hundred, but like two months ago the the boss lowered that to two thousand and two hundred for newcomers. So they know that oh, business is not doing good. The big bigger environment is not good, like everybody else. We need to cut the cost. For that company, a man cannot live by himself. 
I just calculate every day. I have to make like three thousand yuan to keep him keep me afloat. That is another main reason why I don't do full time because full time even full time is not a lot. So what I'm, what I'm doing right now is like also I'm keeping looking for jobs because driving is not a long term solution. Also, I have some other gigs like uh, uh, translation, teaching people English. This is a solid income. Is that you know, no matter how old you are, no um, matter you know, if you are English good, you can also make money by teaching. Uh, I also have an account, Douyin account, uh, where I uh, upload some videos. I translate some videos. I have some. So, uh, uh, f like a uh, five thousand subscribers there, so I, 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 in my on my profile, I said I can do translation. I can teach English. Sometimes people may just uh, find me to do some work, and it's another source of income for me. Maybe I'm doing this. If this goes well, YouTube goes well. I may upload more videos on YouTube. So I don't need necessarily to have a full time job now because. Even the full time job, sometimes cannot support a, a person alone. Not not to mention the whole family, right? So that is what I have to say for this video. It's getting darker. So thanks for watching. See you next time.